Here's a bowl that I like very much uh, for a couple of reasons. One is the, this obvious difference of it having a kind of a stand here. You see it's a, you could say, regular singing bowl with this extra lip here. Now that stand is so handy for playing because uh, it's not muffled. You don't need a cushion. It ha it's up at a nice height, easy access to the note. You, you could maybe even get it to sing uh, while it's standing there, yeah, because <clears throat> this bowl happens to be very heavy. It's about, about the heaviest as this style comes. The style is kind of odd, like it's not very, it's not even seven inches, which means, oh, very, very much a medium sized bowl, and yet it weighs 1185 grams. That's almost 42 ounces. That's heavy. With that much metal, you could make uh, a bowl this wide. So, for some reason, when they make them in this style, it's always very dense like this, which means it's kind of hard sometimes to get it to sing. Um, or there's not much range. In this case, it's easy to get it sing. Just one note that it does very well, that E flat. There is, if I do some, like, ring it first. Now, now we're hearing a high A ring. But still, the main note is what's there. And this beautiful portability of the note for, well, for healing, for example. And meanwhile, I'll demolish all the furniture as I try to do. Let's try a little gong here. Seems to be, this is the best way to get the gong note. Or 